Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to remove the steering column combination switch on the VW Polo. This also applies to the Vento and Rapid as well. And uh, I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step procedure of how to go about doing it. Before you start any work related to electrical systems on the car, it's always a good idea to disconnect the negative terminal of the battery. So please disconnect the negative terminal of the battery before you commence the job. First up, remove the steering cowl. Just pull up uh, from this uh, gap here and... Uh, pull it out now you have two t20 torx screws there you can see the two t20 torx screws here this is one this is the second one use a magnetic uh, screwdriver for the job because there's a good chance that the screws may fall into the steering column below and it will be a pain to retrieve it Once the screws are out, uh, slide the cluster to the sideways to expose the T32 connector. So this is the T32 connector here. What you need to do is press this uh, tab so it will pop up the purple tab there. And uh, gently slide the tab uh, to the top. That will disconnect the connector from the cluster and your cluster is free. your cluster is free just keep it aside once that's done uh, and the cluster is removed you can uh, now remove the steering wheel now for this you're going to need a mirror because uh, you're going to access two clips here one is located uh, right here the other one rotate the wheel uh, by 180 degrees and uh, you have it there so to get these clips down you'll have to uh, use uh, a flat blade uh, screwdriver. I'm going to show you how. You can see one of the spring loaded clips right here. You need to pull it down using a flat blade screwdriver. So that detaches the airbag. Now you have to carefully, you know, you have a lot of harness here. Once the two clips are out, your uh, airbag uh, pops out. And you have this yellow connector here. To disconnect it, you have this white tab. Just pull out the white tab. And uh, the connector comes off. Now be very careful because you have an additional cable here. Now this is for the Mark 7. But uh, you have a similar arrangement for uh, the other uh, steering as well, where you have an extra connector to disconnect. There's a tab here, uh, a spring-loaded tab. You have to press this uh, spring-loaded uh, connector and pull the connector off. So these are those uh, two clips you are like, uh, you know, uh, pressing inward so you can detach the airbag uh, unit from the steering wheel keep the unit uh, safely once uh, the airbag unit is disconnected you have this uh, m12 uh, triple square or xn uh, bit which is holding the steering wheel to the column now you'll have to disconnect this you need a very specific bit for it it's called an xn bit you have to use that uh, no allen key is uh, uh, to be used or uh, can it uh, disconnect this uh, screw here so you have to specifically ask for a triple square bit or an XN bit, M12 unit. So the screw is out. Ideally, you're supposed to replace the screw every time the steering is uh, removed. Keep the screw safe. Now your steering uh, wheel comes off. Once your steering wheel is out, you have access to the steering column combination switch or uh, your left and right stock. Now, unlike so many other cars like uh, your Hyundai and uh, Toyota, you have these two stocks into one single assembly. So if you have to access this unit, you will have to uh, remove uh, your cluster, your steering wheel, etc. It's a bit of a pain if you ask me. So this particular unit is uh, 
held in place by uh, two torx screws here there's one here another one uh, right there and there is another one at the bottom right there so this particular one holds the bottom steering coil uh, to the steering column so we have to remove this as well you need to detach this particular uh, torx screw as well to disassemble this uh, steering column combination switch from the column just a word of caution now you have disconnected the steering wheel from this uh, assembly please be sure to mark the center of uh, airbag slip ring unit by using a cellophane tape because otherwise if this unit uh, winds a couple of times to the left or right side you're going to have a problem uh, when you are you know finally reinstalling everything back you'll realize that your steering has uh, you know your uh, airbag slip ring has already rotated by a half or a quarter half or uh, by one complete turn so you do not want uh, that to happen when you are disconnecting this unit please uh, you know mark a cross with a uh, cellophane tape to ensure that uh, the center is uh, marked and stored it in such a way so the bottom uh, coil comes like that this uh, column combination switch just slides out uh, once this particular torx screw is uh, you know uh, loosened now i wanted to show you one more thing this is a t41 connector very important uh, for adding a multifunction steering wheel or your cruise control etc it's a right angled uh, connector here so this is a t41 connector it's a right angled uh, unit to disconnect this uh, raise this uh, notch here and the connector comes off uh, guys uh, a quick pointer on how to remove this uh, airbag slip ring unit you have these two tabs here you need to press them up as they detach from that uh, locking tabs and you need to use a flat blade screwdriver to press on this tab right here once you do that the airbag slip ring uh, comes off and that's how you disconnect it managed to add this uh, key ring uh, lighting uh, device of guy from russia was uh, selling it uh, he probably got it 3d printed or something i managed to get this uh, done and uh, you know you'll have to go through the whole steps of uh, removing all these components before you can access this basically it just connects to the plus 12 volt uh, cabin light and it illuminates the ring right here like it's there in many of the cars so i just thought uh, i'll show you how uh, this is connected it's a slip on uh, uh, you know uh, device it like it's like a firm fit as you can see so installing all this back is uh, just the process in the reverse order so let's quickly be done with it guys uh, there's one important step here can you see that uh, notch right there this one on the steering wheel and a small marking on that uh, steering column those two are supposed to align because uh, they are the center line marking of the steering wheel and uh, the steering column and, and when you remove the steering wheel please be sure to mark it and by no uh, you know reason should you disconnect the steering wheel uh, at an odd position it should always be taken off the center line and match with the center line and insert it so please be sure of that aspect use a torque wrench to do the final tightening the specified torque value as per the workshop manual is 30 newton meters plus a quarter turn to the right now we'll uh, connect the steering wheel uh, airbag uh, back you have uh, this black uh, five pin connector and this uh, yellow connector the tab pulled uh, right back press and press the tab for confirmation seat the airbag back and you just have to press on either sides and the clips will lock in place that's all so the steering wheel is connected insert the 32 pin connector at the rear replace the coil back the top coil
that completes the activity now we'll connect the battery so that's about it i hope you guys um, like this uh, video let me know if you have any doubts and uh, i'd be more than glad to answer thank you so much guys uh, thanks for watching